What's good, guys? Slips here, bringing you guys episode three of the Apron Academy, the demo gameplay. Um, last time we left off, we encountered these three. Well, we technically encountered five, but three on the screen we've encountered and seen. We kind of noted that Tanya here, the, the the wonderful black girl on the left, she um she stole. I'm assuming the girl, yeah, the girl in the middle, they stole, she stole her uniform, and now we are grazed with the beauty of these ladies in front of us, and now we have, we are faced with a choice on whether to catch it or don't catch it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of wasn't feeling the comments, so I decided myself to look at the options by watching a certain Let's Player's Let's Play. His name shall be in the description below as well. Go check him out. He's very good. Um, and he chose Catch It. And I kind of like how Catch It ended. So I'm going to choose Catch It. I'm not, I'm not ignoring you guys' comments. I read you guys' comments. Trust me, I read you guys' comments. Nice to know you guys care. I didn't need to be told twice. I stretched my arms toward the flying article and caught it, pulling it to my body. The smell of fresh detergent practically skipped my senses like a wave as I held the outfit against me. However, maybe I shouldn't have caught it. But it smells so nice. The nude woman, whose towel was completely off her body now, stopped in front of me and yanked the uniform from my arms and with almost insane strength, I was surprised it didn't rip. She passed it to the other woman who was standing still in shock of my presence, at least one of them seemed to care that a stranger was in the room. Nikki, hold this. Is Nikki the girl with the glasses? Because if that's her name, I, I, I like Nikki. Nikki's adorable. Nikki did ask a question of her, but she continued to stare at me, pressing her lips and into, a, into a fine line. I was curious of whether or not the other four girls would notice that I was a stranger. The nude woman turned her head towards Tanya and pounced at her. Finally catching her in the tackle. I am going to kill you! I hope not. You, you ladies seem quite nice. I would like to get to meet you guys. Within seconds, the new woman had tangled Tanya in some sort of martial arts wrestling pin down. As I stared, I winced. I went at the directions Tanya's arms were positioned in. <laughs> that must hurt. Hey, Haruka, ease up on her. So the girl with the the girl whose uniform got stolen, her name's Haruka. Okay. Um, girls. Hi, Nikki. Nikki, are you the one I'm talking about? Because I would love to meet you. Shut up, Corin. And there's a girl named Corin somewhere. Girls, get off of me! Oh, have you learned your lesson, ladies? Hey, uncle's here, man. The girls and I quickly shot our heads toward the booming voice of my uncle. He was standing at the top of the staircase, glaring at Haruka and Tanya fiercely. The pair quickly separated when Tanya quickly stretching and crackling her limbs back into place. Haruka and Tanya then straightened up and stood at attention with Haruka clasping her arms over her breast and crotch and Tanya with her hands clasped behind her neck. The other three girls ran down towards them and stood at attention as well as mirroring Tanya. So this is army apparently. It may be your break time, but that does not mean you can wrestle in the lobby. Yes, sir. This is apparently boot camp. My uncle made his way down the stairs and grabbed Haruka's towel, tossing it at Haruka. Like lightning, Haruka wrapped it around herself and stood back at attention with her hands behind her with her hands behind her back. And Tanya, another if Haruka can't wear her uniform, she can't do her job. If she can't do her job, then her duties will be ignored, adding more work for everyone else. Do you want to be demoted? No, sir. Hey, we meet we meet the girls. Okay, so from from what I know now, the first one from left to right, the first one is Haruka. The second one is Tanya. I don't know who the three right here is. One of them is Nikki. I'm, I'm claiming and I'm hoping that Nikki is the one with the glasses. I walked around the girls and stared at them at my uncle's side. They were steadfast and perfect attention to my uncle. I grew more confused. What the hell was going on? 
I look to my uncle as he continues to stare down the line of girls. I expect this not to happen again. Understood? Sir, yes, sir! My uncle nodded before looking to me with a smile. He placed a hand on my shoulder and turned back to the girls. Now, I would like you all to meet your new master. Um... Um, um, wait, 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 what did he say? What did he just say? Okay, wait, my thoughts exactly, wait, master? I shot my head towards my uncle in utter shock, practically dropping my jaw. Master? Did he really say master? You wanna run that by me again? I looked at the girls and see them staring at me in surprise. They were obviously shocked as well at this news. At least I wasn't the only one. My uncle, however, tightened his grip on my shoulder. It wasn't painful, but it definitely caught my attention. He forced my body around to fully square off with the line of girls as he continued speaking. Yes, this is Master Tyler. He will be working with you all to ensure that each of you perfect your skill sets and are ready for promotion. The girls nodded, still looking to me as they remained in their place. However, my thoughts scrambled to try and find some logical claim to this whole situation. Where there was none to be found, I simply gulped and stared back at the girls before me. My uncle gave a hard pat on my shoulder before stepping forward towards the women. Starting tomorrow, your duty is to see <clears throat> him as the master of the house. Make sure to treat him as you would your future employer. Understood? Yes, sir! These girls are very, um, polite. At last, my uncle turned to me and gestured for me to step up to his side. I did obediently, unable to really speak anymore due to the sudden situation I was in. Ladies, introduce yourselves. One by one, each girl stepped forward and bowed before speaking. Hello, Master. I am Corinne Barton. It will be my absolute honor to serve you. Please let me know of anything you need. Is she the snooty one? She sounds like the snooty one. Like, she's the one that'll do anything you want kind of snooty. Suck his dick, why don't you? Oh my, okay. Okay. <laughs> Tanya, why? It's not like that. I think. Tanya! Okay, so we get a little bit of action from the girl in the middle, okay? She, she looks like the youngest in the group. Him! Uh, <laughs> um, hi. She is I'm Nikki! It'll be a pleasure to serve you, Master. I'm sure. Okay, I want you all to know I haven't even played this game through for it is, but I, I think Nikki is my favorite, just hands down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nikki just looks, she just looks so adorable. Look at her! Hi, my name is Victoria. Victoria! Pollard, but you can call me Victoria, Master. Can't wait to serve you. Victoria! Yo, name's Tanya Dewey. Hope to serve you well, Master. She's the outlaw of the group. I am Haruka Ayume. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master. She's very anime stylish. As Haruka stepped back, I ran my gaze over each girl, memorizing their names and faces. My uncle nodded and cleared his throat. Yo. We're going after Nikki. If this is that type of game, we're going after Nikki. I'm sorry. Haruka, please get dressed. As it is not two o'clock yet, you all can continue enjoying your midday break. Once it is over, then please get back to your training and prepare dinner. Okay. The girls nodded in perfect unison before separating to different parts of the house. Before I could even think of, cur of curiosity following any of them, my uncle turned to look at me. Now. You will be living here from now on. Meals are at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and 7 p.m., and will be prepared by the young women you just met. If Nikki is cooking my dinner, I do not mind. Whoa, 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 hold on. Slow down, okay? Can't you at least explain what's going on first? No, this is fine. Don't, ex don't, don't, don't question it, man. I wanted a real explanation first. This was all coming out of the blue and I needed some form of logical organization before I did anything. I didn't want to be thrown into the deep end so quickly. My uncle sighed and rubbed his temple before nodding. These women are training to be perfect bodyguards. They train as both military soldiers and maids in order to blend in with an upper class noble lifestyle. Okay. 
That makes absolutely no sense. My thoughts exactly. It's an experiment by the government to protect our national leaders from home assassination. These women are trained to not only serve their employers, but also protect them from anything that comes their way. So let me get this straight. You're gonna use me as sort as some sort of testing dummy? I don't think I like that. That made a bit more sense, but they had to be made and really made outfits. That seemed majorly Japanese anime-esque. That made no sense at all. As if my uncle read my mind, he crossed his arms. The maid uniform is part of their professional attire. They must know how to move and work diligently in them. But frilly maid outfits? You would be surprised how difficult it is to constantly work in one, especially if you are fighting off an attacker. This adds difficulty to their training. It wasn't a good reason, but I let it go. There was no reason to question it anymore than I already had. I, however, was done. All right, so I'm a master now. You are Master Tyler. You are Master Tyler. Do not reconcile. You are Master Tyler. Yes, you are indeed the master of the house now. You may do whatever you like, such as use any of the facilities or stay in your room and entertain yourself. Uh, okay. Really? That's it. No. During scheduled times, I knew it. Pose as a training dummy of sorts. For I knew it. Needs. I'm a testing dummy for these girls. Okay. Wait, what? I knew it. I called it. I was a I was a training dummy now. I was getting lost again, but my uncle raised his hand up, calming me down. You'll be participating in their focused training sessions so they can practice what it is like to protect a live person. You're safe in their hands, I promise. I grimaced. I wanted to believe him, but I came worried as to what these training sessions, yes, these training sessions involved. My uncle looked to his watch and sighed again. And I am late for my meeting. Is there anything else you need? Uh. Well, what about the girls? Do I do anything with them? Like, order them around, or... You said that kinda anime-esque. Like, do I do anything with them, or like... Oh, <laughs> for a moment his expression darkened to his old commander face, which made me freeze up and gulp silently. Wrong choice of words. You are free to ask anything of them, but you will not treat them like toys. They are women, and they are soldiers trading for a purpose. Understand? I mean... I mean, if Nikki wants to, you know, slide in my DM, that's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Yes, sir. I really wasn't thinking anything of the sort. I just wanted clarification. But I guess my uncle had his own way of answering such questions. My uncle relaxed and clapped his hand behind his back. Now, I will be taking my leave. Because the maids are on break, make yourself some lunch. The kitchen is down the hall to the left. He began to walk towards the front door, hurried to make, try, hurried to try and make up for lost time. Before he opened the door, however, he turned, he turned back to look at me. And I remind you, this is a top secret government experiment. You will not disclose your position to anyone. Understood? Why is it top secret? Yes, sir. Why did I say it so... Okay, never mind, never mind. I wasn't a dumbass. I knew I had to keep my mouth shut, especially on social media. My uncle nodded before bidding me farewell and leaving the mansion. I was alone. I was now alone. This, this was beyond interesting, and I barely took everything in. I was a master of five maids who were soldiers. How the hell did I get this lucky? Just a minute ago, you were talking about how... How, why, how and why are you in this? And now you're saying, how the hell did I get this lucky? Okay. But with that, I'm going to end off episode three with that right there. I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm pretty sure this will be fun. This will be a fun Let's Play. I see fun happening here. But without that, guys, um, I kept this one a little bit shorter because... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I kept it shorter, but it's shorter for a reason, okay? Just trust me on this one, guys. But if you guys enjoyed, please slime up that like button as best you could. And if you guys have not already done so, you guys should check out my other content by subscribing to my channel. Yeah. 
Also, you can check out all my social media down below. Blah, 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 blah. All that good jazz. But ultimately, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.